it's raining outside. Time to go to my virtual paradise. Sexy got me motivated, baby. I just want to let you know. Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Allie Fitz, and I'm back with another video. And if you're new here, hello, I love you already. Make sure you slap that subscribe button to become part of the Fitz fam today. We pretty lit. It's true. And once you've done that, make sure to follow my social medias over here to stay connected with your girl and turn on those post notifications so you know all the tea first. Speaking of tea, if y'all did not know, I have a new song coming out February 23rd. Yes, this month. And you can pre-save it today by going in the description or in the comments, wherever I have it, click the link and it will take you directly to where you can pre-save it for free on Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, YouTube Music, Amazon Music, all that stuff. So make sure you do it because it slaps. I already gave y'all a little preview on TikTok and Insta and stuff. If you didn't hear it, go search. And also look guys, I finally got my merch in the mail. I dilly and I dally. And it's got my pickle that I drew. Look at his little face. He's so cute, I love him. But if you wanna be matching me, there's several different colors. Make sure you head on over to outfits.art because I be making art clearly and it's cute. But now that that self promo is out of the way, y'all know that we have been at this paradise, you know, too hot to handle. And if anybody, I mean anybody, touches anybody and makes our cash go down, since it's double the amount, fists will be flying. If you agree, like the video, let's go. P.S. I also got tooth gems and I love them. Justin was lying on me, I ain't forget. I did until I saw his face. All right, let's go. Everyone is gathered on the cabana. There's a nice box on the table, but you have other things on your mind. The fact that Justin lied on me. You can tell people are looking at you, but you've only got eyes for Justin. You haven't stopped glaring at him since you sat down. Oh, I'm mad. I'm big mad. Especially because he's got a big smirk on his face. Just you wait, Justin. Lana's about to tell us the truth any minute now. You tried to talk to Jada on the way to the cabana, but she completely ignored you. <gasps> Even though you can't wait for Lana to speak up and clear your name, there's a tingling, upsetting thought at the back of your head. But if Justin and I didn't break the rules, who did? Just then, Lana lights up and starts speaking. Here we go. Good morning. I've gathered you all here to announce another rule break. $4,000 has been deducted from the pot. <gasps> Who kissed? Or do they touch? What happened? Everyone looks confused. Wait a second, $4,000? I thought a kiss was now $6,000. So what'd they do? That means it wasn't a kiss. Allie was telling the truth, just like I said. But what cost less than a kiss? Wait a minute. I thought I heard someone sneaking out last night at 2 a.m. Oh, Justin, did you? Justin crosses his arms. Did I what? We know exactly what he did. Before anyone can respond, Lana continues. The $4,000 penalty is for self-gratification. Self-gratification, just like I said. Wait, what? I can't believe it. Everyone suddenly starts talking at once. <laughs> That's not true. I swear it was a kiss. You tried to blame Allie to cover it up, didn't you? Yeah. Had a little late night fun, eh? You lied to me, Meg. To your friend. After a moment, everyone turns to you and you see some guilty faces in the crowd. Fake ass bitches. Mm. How should I react? Told you so or laugh at Justin or don't say anything. I'm not saying nothing. I want them to feel bad. You decide to stay quiet. After all, the news speaks for itself. Mm-hmm. You all owe Allie an apology. My man, sticking up for me, we love it. Seriously, you blamed her without even having all the facts. Yep, it's obvious Justin here tried to use Allie to cover his own rule break. Didn't expect Lana to announce who broke the rules, did ya? Mm, look who has an egg on their face now. Liam suddenly comes over and sits beside you. I'm really sorry, Allie. Mm, yeah, me too. Me three. I have no idea why we took Justin's words over yours. Me either when Justin sucks. <laughs> he glares at Justin before he says the next sentence. But trust me, that's the last time that's gonna happen. I guess we were all jealous. Oh, not jealous. That's the only explanation I can give. I was jealous. I'm not ashamed to admit it, but I'm ashamed for jumping to conclusions. Do you think you can forgive us? Hmm. Forgive them, of course, or I need time. You know what? I'm gonna be a drama queen, I need time. You shrug and look away. I don't know. Right now, I need time. 
<laughs> you basically call me a liar and I need to process it. True, all three of them look ashamed. You realize Jada hasn't apologized yet, but you're too distracted by Justin suddenly throwing his hands up. Whatever. Oh, why is everyone acting like you're not sneaking it in the bathrooms? What? Lana just hasn't caught you. Sit down, Justin. Tell him, Alex. I think we've all heard enough from you tonight. I'm glad the truth came out. But wow, what a way to start the day. <laughs> Jada suddenly comes rushing over to you, her eyes full of tears. Oh, really? Allie, I am so sorry I ever doubted you. I have no idea why I believed Justin. I was just so gutted thinking it might be true. I wasn't thinking straight. Dang. What should I do next? Give her a hug, tell her she hurt you, or just nod. She hurt my feelings, I'ma tell her. Jada, you really hurt me. You didn't even give me a chance to explain. I know, I don't even deserve you as a friend. If you don't wanna to talk to me anymore, I don't blame you. You sigh and put on a small smile. I didn't say that. Everyone goes to stand up, but then Lana lights up again. What, Lana? Wait, what is it now? Right. Everyone, I have some good news for you. Good news? I have observed a collective emotional growth and I have a gift for each of you. This gift is going to help you take the next step of your journey. As soon as she says the words, everyone glances at the box on the table. Are we finally gonna find out what's in that box? Looks like it. Alex, please come and open the box. Alex slowly approaches the box and carefully takes the lid off. What's in here? After a moment, they reach in and take their hand out, revealing a set of watches. Their watches? Please put them on. Sarah quickly snatches them up and starts passing them around. Everyone puts them on except Marissa, who seems to be having trouble with hers. <laughs> Wait, let me. Liam helps her buckle it up and Marissa smiles at him in gratitude. Lana then speaks up again. When two people form a genuine connection, they'll be given a green light for a limited amount of time. The watches light up for a second to show you what she means, but they quickly go neutral again. When your watch is neutral, the retreat rules apply. When your watch is green, the retreat rules do not apply. Oh, this is how we spice it up. Everyone gasps. Oh, hell yeah. Y'all are about to see some serious growth over here. She turns to Dakota and high fives her. Seriously, this is wicked. The free pass I've been waiting for. He gets up and starts sending air kisses to everyone, making you all laugh. I will be sending someone on a date tomorrow night. Oh, as for who is going on this date, I am going to see who is the most deserving. So I'll be watching closely at tonight's costume party. What, a costume party? How fun. Seriously, this night just took a turn for the better. A costume party sounds like fun but a date with no rules sounds even better. I wonder who Lana's gonna send on a date. Oh, evening comes fast in anticipation of the party. And when you go to get dressed, you're surprised to find a rack of costumes waiting in the dressing area. Oh wow, these are so cute. Adorable. Sarah holds up a costume that reveals more than it covers. <laughs> I think adorable is the wrong word. These are sexy as hell. They sure are. Are you wearing that one? Sarah gives him a smoldering look. Would you like me to put it on? Oh, we oui, mademoiselle. Sarah playfully smiles, then leans in and pulls the costume over Henry's head. The incredulous look on his face prompts you all to burst into laughter. It looks amazing on you, Henry. So beautiful. Henry chuckles and bows. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I think I'll pick something else though. Once everyone settles down, you start rummaging through the remaining costumes. Hmm. What do I want to dress up as tonight? Um, let me see. Oh, look at the hair, cute. But I just look so good with my hair the way it is. That's all right. Nah, I just love this hair. Let me see this one. Nah, I just love that. Okay, what do I want to be? A police officer? Let me see what that look like, okay. A mermaid? Let me see what that look like. Or a cow? Bitch, I'm being a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow. Yeah, let's do um let's do these earrings yeah i wish i had some cowbell earrings that'd be cute oh i can do a necklace period there's a lot going on with that one let's do this one let's keep the gold going um let's keep the gold going wait what's this oh that's cute keep the gold going oh not the piercings that's kind of cute too like you know how cows be having the thing bulls be having that i think 
I'ma do it, I'ma do it. Just for the look, just for the look. Once you're dressed, you pose in front of the mirror. Whoa, Allie, you look hot. <laughs> you think? Ooh, defo. You're gonna turn heads in that one. Mark my words. Thanks, Jada. And you look amazing too. Burning hot or a bit unusual. You look burning hot, girl, bestie. You pretend to fan yourself. You look burning hot in that costume, Jada. Thanks. I make a terrific flag, girl. Now come on, let's go have fun. She links your arms with hers, then pulls you to the door. Let's go, party time, let's go. The party is already in full swing when you arrive. It always is. <laughs> wow, everyone looks amazing. You stare at all the costumes, unable to keep the smile from your face. This is exactly the change of pace we needed, especially after today. Just as you're thinking of all the drama this morning, you see Justin sulking in a corner. We don't care. When he sees you looking at him, his eyes narrow. What? What are you staring at? <sighs> How should I respond? Ignore him, compliment his costume, or give him the finger? I'm giving him the finger, cause what you mean what you staring at? You reach out your hand and flip him the bird. You're satisfied to see his eyes widen in shock. Allie! You're here. Of course Allie's here. Like she wouldn't miss this. You grin and check them out. Very nice, you three. Aw, thank you. They all strike a pose and Sarah puckers up her lips seductively. <laughs> we should be taking photos right now. I've never looked sexier. Please, you always look sexy. As Dakota showers Sarah in compliments, the rest decide to join you. Oh, look at them. Hi, Allie. Hi. Henry shakes his head. This won't do, Allie. You are under arrest for being too hot. <laughs> he brings out a pair of handcuffs and you slip out of his reach, laughing. Not fair. Ooh, he's a firefighter? I wanted to be a copper. <laughs> we played rock, paper, scissors, man, and I won fair and square. Besides, you still get to show off your abs. Oh, big deal. We're all showing off our abs. A few people laugh, relishing the vibrant energy in the air. Jada takes your hand and starts to pull you onto the dance floor. Uh-oh. Come on, let's dance. And you do exactly that. We tore it up. Okay. You spend what feels like hours on that dance floor. Everyone is in a great mood and you get to spend a little time with everyone. Theo sings a song while you dance with Dakota and Alex. When a fun song comes on, you and Liam start a conga line around the dance floor and you end up holding Theo's waist. <gasps> you can feel the sway of their hips with every beat and you hold tight, savoring the moment. Later, you also enjoy a drink with Alex and Marissa and dance some more with Sarah and Henry enjoying their teasing. This is so much fun. Exactly the type of night we all needed. Needing a break, you head off the dance floor and meet up with Theo and Marissa. Hey besties, how y'all doing? I love your costumes. I think you two are my favorite. No way, Allie. Yours is definitely the best. No, uh, Alex's is the best. I'd have to agree. His eyes suddenly light up. That gives me an idea. Let's take a vote. He runs out to the middle of the dance floor and gets everyone's attention. Hey everyone, let's do a costume contest. Everyone to nobody's surprise, cheers. That's the spirit. I'll go around and take votes on who you think has the best costume. Theo soon starts making his way around the room. When he gets to you, he's smiling from ear to ear. Before you ask, I voted for you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Who are you voting for, Allie? Okay, unfortunately, I'm not voting for Theo. I'm so sorry, but Alex has the best costume right now. Alex, sorry. Their costume is the most fun. Come on, love, are you trying to break my heart? His grin tells you he finds it all great fun. A few minutes later, after he's finished gathering everyone's votes, he returns to the middle of the dance floor. And the winner by a landslide is Allie. Your jaw drops open and everyone cheers. I am the main character here, y'all. Wow, really? Thanks, everyone. Jada comes running over with a big smile on her face. I told you that you looked amazing. Well deserved, babes. You walk out onto the dance floor and strike a winner's pose. Everyone claps and whistles and you can't help but feel special. Theo, Alex, and Marissa come walking up to you. Hey, besties. Congrats, Allie. You had my vote. Same. You look terrific. Thank you. I've never won a costume contest before. I actually haven't dressed up like this in years. No way, are you kidding? I costume up every year. I love Halloween, me too. Same here, this is totally my scene. 
Alex shrugs. It gives me a chance to cosplay as my favorite video game characters, so... Well, I guess I should get into it a bit more. This was fun. Speaking of fun, how about we dance some more? And before you can reply, she's already dragging you onto the dance floor. Well, let's go then. You dance for the rest of the night, as we should. You're unable to remember the last time you've had this much fun. What's to say up here? Dressing up for the party was fun, but enjoying everyone's skimpy costumes was a real peak of the night. Ooh. You should be exhausted after the crazy night you had. Yet still, you can't get tomorrow's date out of your head. Who's going? Me, because I'm the main character. I wonder who Lana is going to choose. It probably won't be me again. But if it was, I'd want to go on a date with... Um, you know what? Since we said Theo last time, let's switch it up and go with um, my second favorite, Henry. Yeah, Henry. He looks so hot last night. Maybe if Henry gets chosen for a date, they'll ask me to go. Then again, Lana might have a say in that. As soon as you think the words, Henry comes and sneaks into bed beside you. Is there room for me in here? Ah, yes, more than enough room. I was actually just thinking about you. Ooh, that's funny. I'm always thinking about you. Uh, he reaches out a hand and brushes your cheek. You know, you have such stunning features. They look even more exquisite in the moonlight. Oh, wow, exquisite. That's sweet, Henry. I hope we have a lot more moonlights together. Me too, Allie. Especially ones where I can kiss you. Until then, we can dream about it. <laughs> That's the plan. Is dreaming about Henry enough? It's definitely enough, or it's enough for now, or I need reality. It's enough for now, honey, because we're making this cash, even though they keep losing it for me. It's enough for now. Henry smiles at you. Good night, Allie. Good night, Henry. And with your fingers intertwined with Henry's, you fall into blissful sleep. Wow, we fell asleep holding hands? That's cute. We better not lose no points. The next morning, the whole group is gathered in the cabana. Lana's gonna announce who's going on a date any minute. I wonder who she's gonna choose. Luckily, you don't have to wait long to find out. Good morning, singles. As promised, one of you will be going on a date tonight. And after observing your behavior at the party, I've chosen she makes a pause to raise the anticipation. Henry. Sweet, I didn't think I'd get picked. Wow, it's exactly who I was hoping it would be. But Lana will choose Henry's date. What if it's not me? Oh, well, you know I'm the main character, so it's about to be me. Wait, let's do the recap. I made some meaningful choices, let me see. So we lost some money, of course. Um, everybody told Jada that that, yeah, well, the majority told Jada that we got hurt from what she did. And I flipped Justin off because I don't play. Most people just ignored it, but I like the drama. And I told Henry, yup, enough for now. I was a 20%, the least, the least amount. Anyway, this goes out to Justin. <laughs> And one like is one of these for Justin. But if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure you give it a like so it can get in the algorithm, y'all. Come on, please help me out. You've been watching the video. You like it, right? And share it with your friends. Let them know about this tea. Let them know that this shit is getting hot. We losing money. People about to get shot. Okay, let me not say that. And make sure you pre-save my new song when we're together. It's going to be a bop. It's so fun. And it's so cute for, um you know, Valentine's Day month. Even though Valentine's Day will be over when the song comes out, it's still cute. And check out the merch so you can be matching with me. So have a great day in the name of the Lord. And may God bless your every step.